Hey everyone, Grateful Guestos here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. On this episode, we are going to do a comparison between AutoCAD and Autodex Inventor. What is this comparison about? This comparison is basically about redrawing a 3D object in AutoCAD and Autodex Inventor. We will then render this object and see which one among these softwares gives us a better finish. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so this is my screen. And I'm about to draw a simple knot. We will use a knot for the purpose of this illustration. We are going to use a simple knot um, as our 3D object. So let me first draw the knot. Now all the dimensions I'll select comes off my head and nothing is drawn to scale here. All right. So I'll select my, select my circumscribed at this point. Delete this circle this dimension I'm going to use 10 10 units and I'll pick another circle too from this point from this point I'll just select this side I'll press pull to the height of 25 extrude this portion to the same height 25 I'll just change my view to shaded of gray now come to the solid aspect, select my fillet edge, select this portion, select this portion now, I'll select my radius, my radius will be giving us 5, good, 5 is a suitable radius to give. Now I'll intercept this and this, now I have my knots, so let me just delete this okay so now i'm about to render my notes so that we can look at the, uh, the finished quality come to the visualize i'll change this to realistic now i'll come to my material bar section and i'll select aluminium yes let me use aluminium polish i think it's best suit this one we can use gold so let us try and use gold so search for it gold select it all right i'm done with my material application this i'm applying the material to make the 3d object look very real so now i'll come to my rendering environment and i'll change some settings so that i can render at um, a good quality but for the purpose of this illustration, I'm just going to leave it as default. All right, so I'll reduce this exposure to, let's say, 8. Let me just type it. 8. Just press Enter. And I'll also change the background to suit whatever color I want at the background. I want to, it to look something like a sky blue. So I'll select my solid come to this side yes like a very light it's it's kind of um, a white background but it has a little bit touch of purple yes this background let me see if i can add some shadows to it okay ground shadow All right, that's fine okay so i have my shadows ready come to this side and i'll select a high um, rendering All right, guys, so I'm done rendering and I'm going to save this file in a PNG format on my desktop and I'll name this file 
not one one that's what we are going to look use for our next illustration so let us let me quickly run you through how we can do say using the autodex inventor after that we are going to compare the quality right the quality of both the autocad and the autodex inventor the 3d update that we've drawn that is okay guys so let me start with the autodex inventor I'll select my plane select my polygon six sided polygon I'll then give my dimension that is 20 I'll finish my sketch and extrude we are going to use 15 for the sake of this demonstration I'm going to create a new sketch on this surface I'm first going to create this sketch give it a dimension of 10 and create another one to hit this tangent i'll finish sketch select my extrude this portion i'll just turn it to cut i'll add another portion to and this portion this circle I'll give it a taper of 45 degrees i'll repeat the same procedure for this side make a circle I'll extrude, select intercept, now type my 45. Okay, so now I'm done with the drawing. As you can see, it is nicely drawn. I think the interface of the inventor looks very updated and very neat compared to that of AutoCAD. So I can change my material over here. So let I use gold for the other side. So let me use gold for this side too select the view and change the visual style to realistic okay change it to realistic now i can turn on some shadows over here and some reflections as well drawn for the sake of this illustration i'm not going to cut the thread in the knot we are just going to assume the threads are there if you are watching this video make sure you hit on the subscription button like and share my content so that we are going to get more of this content available on my platform so that you won't miss anything hit the notification bell so that you you won't miss anything i post on this channel all right so i'm entering into the rendering environment now i'm almost done with everything i just select render image and change the aspect ratio to 1080p and just leave everything like that i can change the lighting system but that'll be for another video so make sure you hit on the subscription button so that you won't miss the next video so i'll just select render and i don't think this one will take long compared to what we get in autocad it's giving us a nice shadow and a nice background but after here we will compare the quality to see which one among these gives us a nice thing so i think with this one after selecting the rendering you can select the rendering time and i'm going to explain that further in another video the rendering time now i can see the quality it has a lot of noise looking at the image right it has a lot of noise over here so what do i do i can re-render it continue rendering to eliminate some of the noise so the more you render the more quality your image becomes that's why it is advisable that as engineer you need to render your work overnight you can just leave it overnight so that by the time you sleep and wake up you're going to get amazing and higher picture quality for your 3d designs so let's wait till this one finish Right, so i'm done now i can click on save save it to my desktop and name it not two two good so i can save it now to do next is we are going to compare the both we are going to compare autocad and autodex we are going to look at the picture quality of 
input outcome or final design so guys this is the final design of um, our 3d object and we used autocad to render and autodex to render so i think the autocad is on my left and the autodex inventor is on my right so let us first discuss the autodex inventor with the autodex inventor i see too much noise over here so i think um this is due to lack of or to continuous rendering lack of continuous rendering which can be sorted out and i think the colors of the gold has been over exposed over exposed and it's looking brighter but i think all this can be controlled at the settings um when rendering or the light yeah you can change the light appearance when rendering too i think we have a good looking um i mean colors and other stuff that the background we have nice reflections and we have shadows here and there but let's come to the autocad i think with the autocad is giving more of realistic view and showing a solid colors compared to that of the autodex inventor so i think i prefer the autocad because of the way the autocad looks though it doesn't have shadows and other stuff but you can just turn on the reflections and the shadows in the settings right so let me know what you think in the comment section guys if you like this amazing video this is what we do here we talk about engineering we talk about mechanical designs so on and so forth make sure you hit on the like button and the subscription button and share the videos to your friend catch you guys on our